guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Lisa, and you're watching The Girl Me Yarn. Uh, this week, I am going to have a different video for you guys, um, and it's a video that I'm not looking forward to actually recording because I just opened the Pandora box. I decided that I needed to organize my fabric stash. I know. I don't know what I was thinking, actually. I don't know what's going on, but we will push through. Listen, in 2024, I decided that I was going to do a no buy year. It applied to knitting and sewing, and um, I noticed that I was, I had an, an amount of yarn that I cannot, it's absurd, and the same with fabric. So um, no buy, I was going to work through my stash, um, and the only time that I could go and buy fabric is that I need it or I'm having this project and I don't have the right fabric or I need fabric so I have broke or I have used that excuse four times already um, and, and it needs to stop so I just bought a pattern and I went to my stash and I couldn't find a fabric that will work for that project so I went and I got more fabric so that needs to stop <laughs> yeah, that needs to stop so I think what I, how I have my fabric right now is not working. Before I had my fabric in display um, as part of the decoration. It looked really pretty. I folded really amazingly. I think you have, guys have seen that before. But in this house, I couldn't have them outside because I was worried that the sun is so strong. And this is like a south-facing window. So it was going to be exposed to a lot of like sun during the day. I live in Texas. So I've been um, storing it in my closet. So let me show you my fabric. Okay, I'm gonna start with the floor because I did a little bit of damage. I took um, first shelf of this um, metal uh, shelving unit um, out and I still have some fabric to go. But um, I took the, these two tubs out of underneath It's right there you see where that tub is um, I found all that fabric that I didn't know that I have and I need to actually think if I'm going to keep it or I'm going to give it away all these are cotton um, quilted cotton and um, like I found that you know, uh, fabric sorry that fabric I didn't remember when I bought that and I found my lost skirt so I've been looking for that skirt forever I even told Stella that she took it from me she said she didn't so I mean, I feel bad. Okay, so here on the top, I had all that fabric, quilting, cotton, um, that I show you guys um, here. And I have a bunch of um, clay for my polymer clay, um, things that I, you know, craft here and there. Um, all this um, jean, it's quite expensive expensive um some of them are so that's why they're like right in the back i'm trying not to you know get any discoloration from the scent so that's that and i remember i have a bunch of black fabric and i don't know where they are right now so we will find it together um then it goes downhill so here i have a bunch of jersey i don't know what this is um i don't know anything it's it's not organized in a way that makes sense. I started to do it by color, if you see all the whites here, um, but that doesn't work. So I think I'm gonna just go ahead and um, take everything out, categorize it by fabric content, um, and then see from there if that makes sense. Because for instance, if I want to look for a linen, there's some here, there's some there, some there. So I want to have like all linens together, you know what I mean? Things like that. I don't have the fabric content of all this fabric, but I'm just gonna take it from feel. Let's take the, all this out. And, um, oh my God, this is gonna be a big, big project. Um, if you see my closet <laughs> is screaming at me right now, it's not happy. So that's that. <laughs> I don't want to buy anything. Uh, so what we have is what I'm going to use. So let me start by taking all the fabrics out of the closet. I 
cannot find my black fabrics. It's, um, I have a bunch off and they're no, nowhere to be found. So here it is. <laughs> this is a fabric. <laughs> okay, I cannot find my black fabrics. They're nowhere to be found. This is weird. So here I have bottom um, fabrics, jersey, and then um, this kind of like soft cotton, very soft, um, and then cotton as well. I have here jacquard or embroider, stuff like that. I found my blacks, they're right here. Um, I found this, which I love. And then I have linens, that's all linens. And then this is rayon blends, and this is really silky. Here we have corduroy, and then jeans, and then more uh, jerseys over here. So I'm going to go through all this. Oh my god, here we go. There we go. I'm going to go through all this, see what I actually can part with. And then um, from there decide how I'm going to put it back into the closet so folded all the jersey ones and I have the ones that are more lightweight on this shelf and then the ones that are a little bit more thicker kind of like uh, cable knit kind of things they are on that stack on the um, end so let's keep on going okay 12:40 checkup um, I folded all the jeans, all the embroidery, cotton, all the jerseys. Um, these are like fancier bottom kind of. Um, I may go ahead and switch this too. Um, I think it will be a little bit better. Um, so I have bottoms on... <laughs> On, on, on this top one with the jeans. I will do that later, but I have to cook and then just have the shirt jerseys down or I bring it down one more. We'll see. But so far, this is how it looks. It looks really good. These are like um, wools and more of a, I would say, jacket or heavy weight. They're up there as well as this one. So I'm going to go ahead and get that one and place it up there as well. Um, but this is the update. I have an appointment at 2 and I have to make lunch. And I want to go to Ikea and see if I can change this up and make it a little bit taller so I can bring these down. Um, so keep you guys posted about that. Good morning! 
morning day number three of the closet the fabric closet organization I am going to go ahead and take this entire side the wood side um, everything out I'm going to switch that shelf unit for the taller one and I'm gonna put everything back up I got two new shelves just in case I have five here um, and then after that I'm going to readjust the metal one um, because I want to slide some things under down there so that's the plan i have an hour before i have to or like an hour or something um i have to dry my hair i have a couple of appointments today so i my time is really short today so i didn't went to yoga but i exercised i did my weight training my cardio so i am pump ready and warm to work in this so let me take everything out and i'll report back this together and I'm grouping things together so I can start with this um, with the getting rid of things so yarn fabric and then the likes the finished product in a second um, but I wanted to refresh um, you know why I did this um, I found that I it was not easy to navigate or shop if I want to say that I had a bunch of materials here that I couldn't see some of them were hidden some of them were in you know not with each group so I wanted to take everything out group it and then put it back up in a more cohesive or easier way to navigate um, I had two shelving units I have one that is metal it's been with me forever and then the other one was a short one kind of like a five foot tall shelving unit from Ikea that I had it for years and years and years I tried to make this um, clean up zero dollar <laughs> like I didn't want to spend any like I want to spend any money so zero cost and I ended up spending $48 because I tried to swap that short shelving unit for the tall one that Carlos has in, in his um office and he refused so I, was, I said to him okay so can we you know like I don't want to spend any money and he was like no I want my tall shelves so I went to Ikea and I got two frames, one shelf, one extra shelf. I got two, but the other one I returned it. And then um, I got two kind of like boxes to store loose things that didn't have like a special place. So let me open this up for you and show you guys. Um, so here I have on um, the doors, I have my two calendars, I erased them, but um, here I have all the ideas that I want to explore for YouTube and then one for Instagram and social media and I pretty much um, work between the two. So whenever I uh, upload a video, I have the art for the video or the art for the stories or if I want to, oh, load a reel if I have all the information so that's what is on my door so let me open this for you and on this side um, I had or I, I I do have a rolling rack I took that one away so it will open a little bit better for you guys but um, this is the metal shelf that I was telling you guys about um, I love this thing i bought it a long time ago and it's been the best investment ever we i i bought it in arkansas and then i moved it to seattle with me and uh, now it's here 
So um, this is um, quite sturdy and it fits perfectly on my closet. Um, I pretty much build it inside of my closet because I couldn't like build it out and just bring it in. No, I build it inside. So if I want to take it out, I have to like take it apart and from, you know, um, inside the closet. So took everything out and I place it back up. I have that up shelf it's empty that side is empty um and um here i have a bunch of like baskets and stuff that went to the top shelf and now i'm using the top shelf of this unit to store all my linens some fancy cottons and more like i don't know like boho cottons and then here i have my evening wear it's hitting you cannot see it very well but i um free fold everything and i went from white to black or like from light to dark just to you know instead of like grouping before by colors i have like some kind of something so that is it's it's not good for my eye because i wish i have a little it looks like kind of like it's just me i like to have whites with whites <laughs> it's gonna be okay um we'll see this is not permanent but um on the second shelf i have now all my eyelid and like embroidered cottons again from white to black and then here i have two stacks of jeans or denim chambray uh this one for instance i tr thrifted this one i love it it's kind of like bleach it has like a good design this one was hidden down there i didn't I didn't remember because i mean i bought it forgot about it um there's some that were also um in bed so i took everything out i refolded and then the darker are on that side although whenever i close the the closet it's peach black like it, you know it's black i tried and i i'm pretty much storing them here even though I like them to be outside because I want to protect them from the sun um anyway so third shelf I have all my bottoms so like medium to heavy well I would say medium because the heavy I put it up somewhere else but here are my bottoms that I bought for, to make pants or skirts and then over there I have a bunch of like rayon and uh, drapey fabrics and I don't have enough and I noticed that everything that I own of Rayan, it's our drapey, it's flowers. <laughs> I don't have anything, nothing that is a solid. And I wear a lot of solids, although I made this one and I love it. I bought this fabric in Portugal. Anyway, moving on. So the fourth shelf is uh, light cottons. And I went again from light to dark, although there's not a lot of dark in here. And I have some quilting cottons that I thought it would be great to make myself some shirts. So um, so that's that. Let me lower this a little bit so you can see the bottom. And then the last one is all my jerseys. And I do own some that are solid and i thought i didn't have any actually so they were all over the place and i went ahead and i refolded everything and i have a one full shelf <laughs> i cannot buy any more jersey so underneath on the floor i have two shelves or two bins sorry i have two bins um i used to have two bins as well um but i moved those were a little bit shorter to this side and now I have these two bins with uh, indie dyed or a more appropriate for this weather kind of yarn. I do own way more yarn than this that is here. Um, it's on the other closet. We have moth here. They're everywhere so I'm trying to keep them, you know, <laughs> alive and not eaten. So I put everything on bins and on plastic bags. So sometimes there are plastic bags and then on bins, especially the ones over there. Okay, so that's the right side. Let me take you to the left. Okay, so let's talk about the left side. This is the one that I bought this frame. Um, before it was this short and you guys may remember I had those two bins of yarn that I just show you on top or two on top and then one over here. So I thought that was a little risky. Let me lift it up. I thought that was a little risky and it was kind of like a hassle, you know, to even get there. And I have a bunch of stuff 
on top of those boxes so i needed to change that so that's why this was important for me to change i went ahead and i bought a seven foot tall frame or two frames and um i needed a six <laughs> So I went ahead with my my saw and I cut it to the length that I needed. It didn't uh, mess up the structure of the frame at all because I uh, it has a bar right here. So and then it had a bar uh, right at the end. So I it's gonna be okay. It, it's, it's okay. It's not. I I don't think I did any damage to the strength of the frame. Um, so I had five shelves already and I added one more for six. Um, so I went ahead, the same thing, I built it inside of the closet and um, I have now on the top shelf right here, all my uh, kind of like thick fabrics, they're right here. Um, and I have all kinds of fabrics. So pretty much um, jersey, wool, um, for, you know, make coats and stuff like that up there and then right on the top I have three um, vintage uh, quilts that I'm not gonna touch in a while and I have all my extra baskets up here can you see them I don't think you can see them they're right there can you see them they're right here <laughs> going down these are the two bins that I bought this one I have a bunch of um, yarn that I have in bags and a yarn that I have bought recently and then here I have some um, random stuff like an extra camera that I own and um, some rent like seriously random things these are or this bag is where whenever I went to you know fashion school that I did a couple clap courses everything is in there with all my patterns and I didn't want to place it somewhere else. I'm going to keep it together so that that's in between the two boxes. These were $4 each and I love them. Um, they are perfect, per perfect size for the shelves. Down here in these two shelves, let me lower you. Here in these two shelves, these were already organized like this. These are random th things that I grouped somehow together. So here I have all my buttons or my beads to make bracelets. Um, I started making dolls, so all the stuff is right here. And then I have a dollhouse, mini dollhouse is right here as well. This I use a lot for my journaling. So these have all my stamps and I have more stamps in here. And um, in my um, paper cutter is right there. Uh, so I use these three quite a lot. So. Um, but these were all already organized like that. I just went ahead and I swapped it and I lifted up, I think, a little bit because they were a little lower. Here I have random stuff. These two are random. These are all my tabbing or my when I read all the tabs and stickers and all that, that like that. Here I have extra um, cases. I love these cases for my journaling and I have them all over there. I don't think you guys have seen that and then I have um, here some acrylics and then over here I have my interfacings are right here all the random interfacing and I have a uh, yarn kind of like uh, knitting a little basket here with a bunch of things that I don't use like wood like the first needles that I bought they're over there and then up here um, I thrifted this this was four dollars and i got <laughs> the bin with all the colors so i got all this for four dollars so it goes right there and then here underneath i have all my muslin um interfacing um this is uh that uh quilting interfacing and then um the like so that's that here I have all my rolls. So this is to make patterns or transfer patterns. And then I have a bunch of those over there in that corner. Because we have a corner here. So that's that. And then on the bottom I have a bunch of bags that I have cut and they're ready to go. I need to probably finish them up and then just put up them for sale. I have around 30 bags in here that I stamped it, I went ahead and I um, 
got a vintage fabric and I have never done anything with that um, let me show you if this is part of it I think this is part so this is a part of a Canva kind of like fabric that I found and I cut a bunch of bags so maybe one day you will see those <laughs> So that is that. These are my light, my camera lights. Um, the bulbs are here. And then here I have all my minis. I have so many minis. It's insane. Um, they're all a group by Maker. And they are, um, I think, four bags in total. And the entire bin is full to the brim. So it doesn't close all the way, but it doesn't matter because they're all in baggies. And here I have more yarn. And down there, I have all my quilting cottons that were pretty much um, all over the place. They are right now in a place. So, um, and I don't use them as much. So whenever I need a quilting cotton or a piece of fabric, it's going to be down there. And then the only thing that I have, didn't show you guys, I bought an entire or two bags. Let me show you why not. And on top of that, I have this uh, bunch of granny squares. I got these two bags for $4. Um, I thrift them. And I need to actually just go ahead and finish this up. I just need to take one and take it to my local craft shop and just find the appropriate um, yarn to attach them all together, but to each other. But um, somebody did the work for me. And I think this is the best buy ever. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> that is my crafty closet for you guys. And I hope I can give you guys a, a, a little update soon. See if I can find things better <laughs> than before. But I'm really happy. It took me three days. I, it could have taken me one day. I just took very slowly and um i feel it it's more cohesive now everything is like organized and you guys know i love organizing anyway that's it for me today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week until then happy knitting happy sewing happy crafting bye <laughs>